Hello. I know we're throwing a lot of lessons at you guys at one time, but that's because I didn't do very many in January and I'm trying to get you guys caught up. You're also going to find um, some Lent or Easter lessons as well. I'm kind of filling that in because it's a very important um, time right now, our Lent season that we are currently in. But today we're going to do um, the stone tablets. You guys should watch the Holy Moly video as always. It's when God told Moses to go up the mountain. He had some very important information for him. And I want to, we notice that all the people were in color in the beginning in the Holy Moly video. They all were in color until someone got this bright idea. One of the Israelites got a bright idea to make a calf and worship the calf. Now, all of a sudden, everybody turned black and white again. And then when Moses came down and found people fighting, fighting over um, someone's baby, they had a knife like they were going to kill each other. Brothers and sisters were fighting. What else did you notice? Anything? Mm, they were like fighting with each other. Yeah. Again. Oh, this is Sophia, by the way, my granddaughter. You guys have met her before. And then Moses kept going, shh. Like, don't do that. And then God finally got frustrated and you saw his hand go boop. I got a picture of right here. Right there. See it? And got rid of that calf and also put the laws right in front of the Israelites. So let's do a little review. We know who Moses is. We met him before. He's the one that freed the Israelites from Egypt, from Pharaoh, right? That was our last lesson that we did. We all know who God is, right? We all know um, who God is. It's a very important person in this lesson. The commandments. That's what we're going to learn about today. Those are laws written by the finger of God on stone tablets given to Moses to bring to his people. The Bible talks about the Ten Commandments, but text doesn't number them. It's interesting. We have them numbered, though. And actually, in your lesson, I typed this up. It's a very simple way to explain the Ten Commandments for children to understand, okay? So um, we'll go through the Ten Commandments with this sheet of paper, all right? And you guys know the Israelites. Those were the people, the Egyptian slaves that uh, Moses took out of Egypt. So they want to know rules they would like to follow. So think about rules you would like to follow. So if it was a rule that you like to follow, not a commandment, but a rule in your life, what do you like to follow? Mm, doing my homework. Mm -hmm. Doing your homework. Um, rules that I try to follow are like the speed limit, you know, laws like that, because laws and rules are kind of the same. Um, which rules do you not like to follow? Hmm, you guys, think about rules that you don't like to follow. Um, think about school like we have a rule at our school that if you don't have boots and snow pants you cannot go in the snow and there are some kids they like to get in the snow with their tennis shoes on and get all wet and that makes me angry because that's my job at school to keep them following the rules <sighs> what's one of your rules um Like my church, I have to wear skirts. I wish I didn't have to wear skirts because they're very uncomfortable. To oh, me. yeah. Sometimes she has to wear um, skirts at church. I, I know, especially when, when it's cold outside. Yeah. Okay. Do rules matter? I think so. Because without rules, it would be chaotic, just like we saw in the Holy Moly video. Rules are laws. They keep us safe. They keep us orderly. They actually keep us happy. When we follow the rules and laws, we are actually happier people when we do that because we don't have to deal with the police officers. Um, no one wants to deal with the police officers unless, you know, he's, he's your family dad or uncle or husband or grandpa. I know, I know some police officers. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lyle's a retired police officer. Okay, so we did the characters. Um, let's look. I'm, I want to keep this as simple as possible for you guys, okay? I did the craft. This craft, you guys, oh my gosh. I, I could not get the mountain thing to work. 
It says follow God's rules everywhere. And you're supposed to make like a mountain somehow and then you climb up the mountain. I don't know. So I just want you guys to take the craft, okay? This Moses is on the front with the um, Ten Commandments on the tablet. And they want you to write things on there. Like um, this one says, easiest commandment to follow, the first one. And Sophie, what did you say the easiest commandment was to follow? Um, I think it was... Like, don't make other idols. Or right. Don't things. put other gods before me. Or kill. That's, it's funny because I wrote on there, for me, do not kill is an easy commandment because I'm not going to, I don't murder anybody. And do, um, do not put other gods before me. That was what I put too. The hardest commandment, now you tell me what yours was. Um, obeying a parent. Honor thy mother and father. I said, take the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> Sometimes it's slips out and I feel bad but it does it slips out sometimes but you guys talk about that with your family what is the um easiest commandment and the hardest commandment to follow okay most important commandment what did you say um like keep promises to God okay or um respect God okay and I said have no gods before me and Jesus added this to the Ten Commandments, you guys. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbors you love, like you love yourself. That's the golden rule. And that's very important to know that Jesus, God's Son, added that commandment to the Ten Commandments. The hardest commandment to understand, I said make idols to worship. Because we don't make a calf and, uh, you know do what the Israelites did. We don't do that, worship a calf. But there are some things that we do worship, unfortunately. Money. Money. People want the big house. They want the cool stuff. They want the... It's more important for them to have the cool car, the big stuff, and all the money versus being um, a good servant to God and honoring Him. So that's kind of what maybe is the hardest commandment to understand. So you fill those in, okay? And then on here, they want you to write um, things like having rules makes things more fair. This is something that the Ten Commandments does, okay? Um, I wrote down that it makes you safe because we have laws. It also makes you closer to God if you follow the Ten Commandments. And it makes God happy. Don't we want to make God happy? I think we want to make God happy. So I wrote those on there, okay? Now, if you want to do the craft, you can. It's up to you. You can do the craft if you want to, but I don't really care for this craft, all right? Oh, I got to read the story. Hey, Sophie didn't tell me I have to read the story. Set in stone, names can change and games can change and friends can move away. Hair can grow, as you know, the weather is new each day. But God has rules that never change. They guide us and comfort us. God's rules are in the Bible, in a book called Exodus. <laughs> Moses' hair grew a little long, didn't it? He got a long beard. I brought you out of Egypt land. That's the start of God's commandments. Commands. Careful who you bow down to. That is God's next rule for you. Watch for how you use God's name. God thinks swearing's really lame. Oops. All our days come from God's stack. Once a week, we give one back. And what they mean by that is once a week, we give one back. We go to church, do our Sunday school lesson, appreciate what God has all given us. Give your parents your respect. Another thing that God expects. God created this whole crowd. Harming others is not allowed. Keep a promise. Here is how God will give you courage. Wow. What am I doing? Can you see it? Showing the whole page. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look like it. There we go. Thanks, so. Don't take things that are not yours, not from others, not from stores. Stealing. Tell no lies or falsehoods, please. 
about your friends or enemies. Don't go crazy wanting more. God is who you're looking for. So we don't steal. We don't lie. We don't talk bad about our neighbors. Do not look at this peach. Yeah, that's not that's not the next time. <laughs> All right, that's great. All right, so Ten Commandments. Okay, go these. I want you to go these. Um, go over this with your mom, please, or dad, or sister. Talk about them. Okay. See you next time. I hope to see you guys in person. We have our next in person this Sunday, which is March. Third? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or March 5th. I think it's March 5th. Anyway, this Sunday, all right? First Sunday of March is our in-person in Sunday school in um, the basement in our Sunday school room. Thank you. Bye, guys.